That's an allegory to Joel chapter 2, the trumpet, the trumpet is sounding. We want to welcome those who 
probably just enjoyed that music by one of Jacob's seeds, tribe of Judah. Went by the name of Taylor Pendergrass. And he may have been mocked before his death in a wheelchair. And that, that's because, according to rumor, I don't go by rumors, he was in a traffic crash back in the 80s or late 70s. And he became a paralegic as a result of the traffic crash. He's not our subject, but the song, that particular song that he recorded is our subject of someone who woke me up this morning and told me to tell you and deliver a message to you, Judah. These are the last days and these are the days that all the seals are being loosed that are connected to prophecy. Speaking of the last days, this day is now recognized as the 22nd day of the second month. We're now at sundown on the east coast of the United States of America. Is that correct? 23rd at sundown. 23rd at sundown. We're at, okay, this is the 22nd. We just have a little bit more daylight left. But at sundown, it would be the 23rd day of the second month. I mean, there's still a lot of daylight left in the west coast of the United States. We're on the east coast in, in Florida. City that's known as Miami, worldwide. The infamous Miami, that's in South Beach, Miami South Beach, Miami Beach. Hmm. Praise the water. Praise the water. That is, for the record, this is also known as Sunday, May 1st, 2022. Our year, our so our year is 6,025, going out the 23rd day of the second month. 6,025. We are encouraging you to join us for just a little while. This is a Sunday evening in the United States. Sunday afternoon if you're on the West Coast. We are encouraging you to break out your study tools as we go fishing. I'm looking for some bones that are attached to a rib. And this rib is a fisherman's rib of bones. So grab your King James Version Holy Bible. Grab your study tools, your Strong's and Zons for Concordance. Grab a writing utensil. Grab something to write with. Something to write on. Take notes. You're going to be required to write something in a moment as I share and deliver this message that my all put in my mind a couple of days, three days ago. Three, years, three days ago he came to me in another vision. He put another vision of revelation in my mind that's, that's, that's connected to Ezekiel. Chapter 37 is also connected to Exodus chapter 24. It's connected to Genesis chapter 2, Isaiah chapter 50. It's connected to Jonah, Jonah chapter 1. It's connected to Matthew, the fishes of men, and John. It's connected to the King James Version Holy Bible, all 66 books. It's with that vision that my all placed in my by it reminded me of that was sealed. Even the daughters of troops and he who laid siege against us smit the judge of Israel with a rod upon the cheek. No one knew what that meant. Only the soul of Micah can reveal it as he sealed it over 3,000 years ago. And that all became part of that vision. I'm going to share that vision with you, and as I do, I'm going to break it down afterward. 
And there are a few people who were here with me in Miami that were waiting on me to reveal that vision, as I promised I would do it on Monday. And I'm keeping that promise. Today is Monday. <laughs> it is. Today is Monday in the Middle East right now as I'm speaking in Israel. This is Monday. So I'm keeping that promise. I didn't say it had to be Monday where we sit. Oh, we're dwelling that never even I say it's Monday, I'm gonna do it Monday. Monday is also known as Moon Day. Without an O. M O N Space D A Y. Why only M O N? Because one of the O's ascended on May seventh, two thousand seven. That means this coming Saturday will make fifteen years since my art ascended back into heaven probably near the moon, near where they think is the moon. Mm. Who is my Ab? Ab, of course, is Hebrew. Ab is Hebrew. Out of Beth, from right to left, is Hebrew. That means father in English. And my father, my Ab, is known to many of my people that are known as Judah as, quote, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh in English, or from right to left. Yodhi Wafe, Beth Musa for Yodhi Wafe. That's who my Avi is. You may not comprehend that or understand that, but I do. It's all throughout the New Testament that I know my father. I know my father. I'm the only one who knows him. And he knows me. Everyone else who think they know me, that's all they know. It's just a thought. They think they know me. Just a thought. And thoughts are okay. No matter how th big or how small your thought is, it's okay that you think you know me. You do not know me. You know nothing of me or about me. My testimonies identify who I am by itself. All of my testimonies identify as who I am. Let me give an example. Here's a testimony. As a result of the vision of my love, reminded me of the place in my soul the other day. I believe it was Friday, it may have been Thursday, it's last week. I was walking through this valley of the shadow of death here in Miami, Florida. I was just walking. And I was seeing people as I was walking, my people, through the ghetto. Even those who I have confronted before in the past. And as I was walking, I came across some fish as if I was looking for fish. That's all I'm eating right now, fish. On that note, as I pause for a moment in this testimony, I'm, I'm going to remind Yehuda, Judah, Jacob, Israel, do not eat chicken. Do not eat any poultry, also known as birds, also known as the fowls of the air and fowls of the ground. Do not eat any chicken. Now you can if you want, and you can ignore me. You have that right. You were born with free will. So let your free will continue to allow you to eat chicken. Even as I place a plague in the chicken. Mm -hmm. According to Revelation chapter 11 verse 6, fulfill another plague as often as I will. The CDC of the United States calls it bird flu. It's not a flu, it's a plague and it's infiltrating the flesh of all fowl. And unfortunately, I must also announce that uh, that involves, also includes quails, all fowls, mm -hmm. quails. So I'm warning you and cautioning you, Yehuda, Judah, do not eat any chicken, no fowls of the air or on the ground. And it's not a good idea to continue to eat red meat. In the beginning, you were vegetarians. You were eating vegetables. And you can't eat fish, but there's certain fish that you are not allowed to eat. Only those with fins and scales that you are allowed to eat. Now, you can go to Leviticus chapter 11 and 
study what kind that is, or Deuteronomy chapter 14, mm -hmm. and you'll know what kind of fish that you're allowed to eat. No catfish. Don't eat any catfish, no dogfish. Catfish is a scavenger. Don't eat any shellfish, like crab. Crab, you think is crab. I'm gonna, I'm gonna return to that testimony, but since I thought of crab, see, I had another vision immediately after the one I'm sharing with you now in the testimony that involved spiders. A spider. I think I went over that the other day in testimony on last week, the spider yeah. on my neck. Mm -hmm. Well, spider is land. The cousin to the spider in the sea and the ocean is called a crab. Write that down for a moment. Write down crab. So you have your writing utensil, right? Okay, write down crab. <clears throat> You have it? Okay. Spell it. C R A B. C R A B. Okay. That's what you have. Why'd you write C R A B? Okay, crab. that's how that's how they taught you in their schools how to spell crab. C R A B. What is a C? Mm -hmm. Let's go to the first Bible scripture for this evening. Go to Revelation chapter twenty one. Why you spell crab with a C? And then why it, again? Not only that, why you spelled it from left to right? Because that's what they taught you in the schools. Mm -hmm. Their schools. The publicity. Their publicity schools. Publicity schools. The root word of publicity is public. Mm -hmm. Or did you know that? Mm -hmm. You're going to their schools, which is nothing but a publicity, a publicity stunt. Okay. Why? Because they're teaching you, they are teaching you everything there is to learn about nothing. Do you have Revelation chapter 21? Yeah. Read verse 1, please. And I saw a new heaven. A what? A new heaven. I wonder what happened to the old. Hmm. A new heaven. Yeah. That's what one of the lyrics of that song that was being played when we came on live stream this evening. It's time to start a new world. It's time to bring in a new world. Let the old world pass away. A new heaven. And what else? And a new earth. Ah, a new world. Hmm. Why? For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. I wonder do they comprehend that? Hmm. And what and what else? Anything else? And there was no more sea. I pray that those who have joined us taken out of the Sunday evening schedule instead of watching a a playoff basketball game, just play it off. I pray that they see that. Which means what? There is no more C. Is that correct? Okay. okay, so spell crab again. C R A B. See what they see what they taught you in their publicity stunt schools? C R A B. And I promised in this revelation that I sealed. I was the one who sealed that. Mm -hmm. Well my sister saw that did that. Yeah. See, that's proven because I'm the only one on the planet that revealed this. My mm -hmm. father did not reveal this because he left that for me to do it. He gave it to me. It's my seal. It's my book. It's the book of mm -hmm. the revelation of, isn't it? Yeah. That's just chapter 1, verse 1. Mm -hmm. I am that one whom 
he was referring to intensified of mm. mm -hmm. during that time life magazines the scribes came into office in 1986 in the temple of love international headquarters mm. then they called they called jesus mm. that's not my name that's not what he called me that's not what he named me but this whole book all 404 verses is the book of the one whom they call Jesus. That's not my name. My name begins with Mem, mm. number 13. That Mika Yahweh is not my name. Mm -hmm. Mika Yahweh is not my name. But in order for you to comprehend Revelation chapter 21 and verse 1, that means the one who sealed it got to come and loose it. And I'm telling you now, there's no more sea. So why are you spelling crab with a sea? That they talk to in their publicity schools, in their public schools, publicity stunt. They taught you to spell as a stunt, a publicity stunt. Hmm. They wanted to teach you what they want you to know. That's all they taught you, what they want you to know, what they want you to know, not what you should know. Hmm. They didn't teach you what you need to know. That's why, now, here's why they didn't teach you what you need to know. Put your finger on that. Well, you already, you're done with that. Done You're done with verse 1 mm -hmm. because there's no more C. Okay. Before you leave that, go to, go to verse 8. Read verse 8. Read verses 7 and 8. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. How much of it? All things. All things. I'm looking. I'm fishing. I'm going fishing today. So I'm wearing my fishing hat. Some may say, this fool crazy. Well, I'm wearing my fishing hat. We're going to see how crazy it is in a minute. Mm -hmm. when, when I don't hook you in on my hook, line, and sinker. Mm. When I don't hook you and pull you in my boat, in my ark. Mm. If I don't hook you and pull you in my ark as it was in the days of Noah, then you're going to be left out there and you're going to mm -hmm. drown in a lake of fire that you're about to read in verse 8. Mm. Read it. Let's see if that's true. And I will be his Elohim, and he shall be my son. Mm. Uh-huh. But the fearful is that verse twenty. Is that verse eight now? Verse eight, chapter twenty-one, verse eight. Okay. The fearful, those who are afraid to come on my hook. Mm. And what? And unbelieving. Those who don't believe what I'm about to share in testimony, what my op told me to tell you, what he woke me up and told me to tell you this morning. Those mm -hmm. who don't believe it, mm -hmm. and what? And the abominable. Those who are using abominable words and acts against me, and against mm -hmm. one another, mm -hmm. and against my women, mm -hmm. and my men. Mm -hmm. Land with men, men land with men, women land with men, women. And men land with little children, and even women land with dogs and little children. Wow. Abominable. And what else? And murderers. All those who murder my people. Not you don't have to you don't have to be a physical murderer to murder someone. Mm -hmm. My law says thou should not kill. It doesn't mean physically. I don't see what it says physical in there. Mm -hmm. You can kill someone in their mind. You can kill a mind mm -hmm. and destroy it. And that okay. mind eventually will subsequently go to death. Hmm. That's following this couple of words in the same verse. What? And whoremongers. Whoremongers. That speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. And sorcerers. Sorcerers. Those who go hunting for victims to kill them, mm -hmm. and hunting for false gods and for false religions, all over the planet, going to and fro looking for false gods. Mm -hmm. What else? And idolaters. Those who follow idols mm -hmm. as gods. All of them. Mm -hmm. But have what? And all liars. Liars? See, you don't even know what a liar is. Mm -hmm. You think a liar is someone who doesn't tell the truth. And you never studied liar. We did. Yeah. I taught my disciples yeah, what a liar is. You need to study a liar. Mm -hmm. You can you you're lying right now, I don't even know it. Without you can lie without even opening your mouth. It's a lie. Mm -hmm. By you sitting there and saying nothing is a lie. You're a liar by just sitting there. You don't even you have never studied liar. Mm -hmm. See, by you sitting there is a lie. And when you lie there, it's even a deeper lie because now you're lying down, lying. Double. You are a liar lying down and don't even realize it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And what? Shall have their part. Shall have their part. In the lake. In Michigan Lake. In mm. Lake Michigan. The Lake Erie. Mm. Mississippi. Mm. Lake Okeechobee. Oh. What's in the lakes? Fish? Mm. Isn't there some type of fish? They call it freshwater fish in lakes. Mm. Bass and bastards. 
Brim, them, mm. hmm, Mm-mm-mm. in the lake. Okay. Okay. With a catfish, catch the fish mm. in the lake. Mm. Right? That's what lake this is, right? Read it. Let's see. The lake which burneth with fire oh, this and brimstone. Lake, oh, this lake is one that burn with fire and not have water of them. Mm-hmm. That means if you don't come and get hooked on this hook uh, for my fishing pole, my fishing rod, see my rod and reel. Okay. All of that was sealed in Revelation. The rod mm-hmm. and reel. See, my rod and reel is not fishing for my men and my disciples and my people, mm-hmm. those that were chosen. I'm going to show you that after this. My rod and reel. Mm-hmm. Right. Which is the second death. That's the second death. I mean, you don't stand a chance after that. You're gone. Even your soul will be burned in hell to the mm-hmm. lake of fire. Mm-hmm. You, you in the wrong lake. You're looking to be in the wrong lake. Is that the end of that? End of now, verse 8. Now, now go to chapter 11 of the same book. Let me mm-hmm. show you my rod and reel. Read chapter, read verse 1 of chapter 11. That's 1, 1, 1. That's 3. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. 3. All three agree in one according to First John chapter 5, verse 8 and 9, verse 8 and 9. Read verse 1. Okay, in Revelation 1, Revelation 11, verse 1. And there was given me a reed. A reed? Hmm. And what? Like unto a rod. See, that's the reed. The reed, real. It's real. It's reed, mm-hmm. real. Real, like unto a rod. Okay. My rod is real, and my reed is real. Mm-hmm. So now I'm going to read. We're going to continue to read on my rod. Hmm. Right? Yeah. Right. And the angel stood saying, mm-hmm. Rise. Rise and get hooked on this hook, mm-hmm. Judah. Mm-hmm. All of you who are lost. <laughs> this is the final call. There will be no more fishing expeditions after this. Mm-hmm. This boat is uncharted, it's owned. It's the same one like what Noah had, just as it was in the days of Noah. It's a large, large boat. It's an ark. And here, here the ark of the covenant invited you to come on board. Mm-hmm. Mm. Take part of this vessel. Mm. Become bone to my bone. Flesh of my flesh. Mm. This is the ark of the covenant talking to you. Mm-hmm. You have no idea what the ark was. They fooled you. See, they, they a publicity stunt. They taught you that they public churches. Mm. They're public movies. Publicity. All right. Okay. okay. Now, with that said, go back to what you're reading. This started in what book was that? Revelation 21. Revelation 21. Go back to that for a moment. Read that once more. Read verse two. Read verse one and two. This time, without interruption. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Read verse 2, please. And I, John, saw the holy city. That's my father, also known spiritually as John the Baptist. Hmm. Mm-hmm. New Jerusalem, coming down from yod out of heaven prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Now, all of Judah, all of Jacob, all the 12 tribes of Israel is a bride. Mm-hmm. My arm is married to you. That's also in the word. The book is called Jeremiah. So am I married to you. I have all of you are my wives. W-I-V-E-S. And you were that when you came out of the womb. You were W-W-I-V-E-S that they taught you in their public schools, publicity schools, and each letter is a word. W for wise. Mm -hmm. I, yourself, intelligent. The V is for very, and the E is for educated. Mm -hmm. And the S is for the saints, wives. Mm Wise, intelligent, very educated saints. That's who you are, my wives. Every one of you. 
Mm -hmm. I know right away, I can imagine someone said before I revealed that, oh, this nigga, he crazy. Talking about I wanted his wives. Mm -hmm. He just got through speaking of homosexuality. That's how dead you are, sleeping in your grave. Mm -hmm. So, what do you what did you write down on your paper? Crab. You wrote down crab, and you spelled it how? C R A B. Even after you read Revelation 21, 8, 21 and one. S pronounce it again. Crab. It sounds like you should be spelled that with a K. Okay. Then why don't you do that? Okay. Spell it with a K. K R A B. So what do you have? Crab. Why do you say C R A B? Can't be both. Make up your mind. Okay. Hmm. The devil school system. Mm. Where else the devil taught you? Mm. In his system in England, in English, in this land where you're sojourning as strangers. Where else did the devil teach you? What did you write? You would you would you write down? It's simple. It's, mm. it's no it's don't call you don't have to be a rocket. <laughs> Science is for NASA mm -hmm. or engineer. But they teach you, taught you their English. Yeah. Of course, their language, they're the own. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And how do they teach you that? How do they teach you how to write? Mm. Left to right. They taught you. Come on, it's not it's not difficult. Mm -hmm. They taught you how to write legibly. Mm -hmm. First in the first grade, A B C D E F and whatever you can see, right? Yeah. From left to right, and that's all. What we let that's yes, we left them. We left it that. We left them that little bit of intellectual comprehension of mind that they can be intellectually inclined to what we have prepared for them when it be transliterated from Hebrew into Hebraic into English so they can know what time it is like today. Mm -hmm. So we left them 900 scrolls in Qumran, Cairo, near Egypt. So they can, I mean, thousands of years ago, they just came across another batch of them in 1947. But we left them scrolls thousands of years ago. We left scrolls in Hebraic. And mm -hmm. they were intelligent enough to go and get someone from Hebrew, the Hebrew world, to transliterate them for them. And we left them just enough so they can be intelligent enough to know what's coming when the last days will be here when I will return mm -hmm. from over 2,022 years ago. The same one, according to Acts chapter 1, verse 11. And that's what we left them. So since that's all we left them, they started writing from left to right. Mm. They write left to right. But the Hebrews were written from right to left. That means they should have been translated from right to left. Mm. But you wrote down, first you wrote down C-R-A-B. You should have wrote down K-R-A-B, because now there's no more C. Yeah. That will also explain the mystery of those who are watching on live stream that will reveal the mystery of why we no longer use a C in the place of, we use a K now, as we replace a C, and we also use an S in the place of C. Okay. So that means there's no more S-E-A, but there is an S-E-E, -E, so you can see that now. Hmm. Hmm. Right? Okay, mm -hmm. so, it being that you wrote that down, you switched that, you changed that C now to a K. Yeah. All right. They also taught you to do that in church. Who? The blind watchman. And my people, my men and women, clergy, became a pastor or a preacher, and they following this white slave master, clergy, and teaching them the same thing that they taught them in school, everything there is to know about nothing, religion, mm -hmm. religiously, spiritually, know nothing of who the true God is, the true and only living God, you know what i Right. That's according to Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 10. You can read that on your own. It's there from verse 10, Jeremiah chapter 10. Yeah. So since the watchmen are blind, they were blind. They became blind. That's, that's Isaiah chapter 29. 
their eyes were closed, hmm. still closed. Begin at verse 10, Isaiah 29, chapter 29, verses 10, 11, 12. If you, they can read them there and make a note. That's why I said take notes. Hmm. Their minds are blinded. Hmm. Right? Hmm. Their minds are blinded. Their heart is, is wax cold. Their intelligence is limited. It's mm -hmm. been frozen. Mm -hmm. The intellectual comprehension of things, people, places, the deity, is all been mm -hmm. sealed off from their intelligence. That means they become dumb. Mm -hmm. Dumb like who? Like dogs. So what's a dog? They think you have, they gave you D-O-G for mm -hmm. dog with an S on the end for plural. And yet, that's from left to right. So mm -hmm. not realizing that they are G-O-D from right to left. Mm -hmm. They are the people and children of Jacob. They are all gods. Mm -hmm. But they taught them that they are dogs. Mm -hmm. And what do dogs do? Bark. See, they taught that you are, they taught you are a dog, D-O-G, that's a male cult prostitute in their idiom, and not that you are a G-O-D, a deity of the universe. And when I say that you're all gods and children of the Most High, okay. I'm not making this up. You have your strong concordance on screen? Go to strong concordance, go to H3611. And what you're going to find there is Kalab, beginning with Kaf for K. Kaf, which is the third Hebrew character of my terrestrial name. Terrestrial, not celestial. My celestial name is not Mika Yahweh or Mika, Bem Yod Kaliwafe. My name is, I had not revealed it yet, not to this planet. Mm. That's in Revelation chapter, chapter 19. I'm only going to reveal it to those who come, who I hook, who I get hooked in this lake that I'm fishing in. It's a lake, not the ocean. I'm in a lake, but I'm in, I'm not in a lake where, where the fire is. That lake, that, that fire lake, that's coming soon. Thirty-six eleven. That should take you to dog. Tell you what, let's make it easier. Let's make it easier. Mm. Come out of that and just go to your address box and type in dog. Yeah. What do dogs do? Bark. So why do you have K R A B from left to right? Why do you have K R A B? Mm -hmm. Write it, write it like you were supposed to. Write it from right to left. <laughs> Bark. You write it. Mm -hmm. Don't say it. I already know what it is. Mm -hmm. They that's what they taught you in a publicity school. This is this is part of that spider I had on my neck. See, that's the land spider. This is the ocean spider that you thought was a crab. No, it's a crab, all right. How many legs do a spider have? Eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. How many legs do a crab have? They tell, tell you, they tell you two sets of five, mm -hmm. two times five. That's what they tell you, but they don't. They have two times four, eight, and they have two claws. That's what a, spider, that's what a crab has. Mm -hmm. But leave it up to this. Archaeology, leave it to the scientists and the agricultural, agricultural doctors. They'll tell you that uh, a crab has two times five pairs, two pairs times five mm -hmm. equals ten. So what they use for claw then? They don't crawl and they crawl on their claw. Mm -hmm. They don't walk on their claws. Mm -hmm. They crawl on two times four on each side of their bodies. Eight, just like a spider. A spider also has claws, but you can't see them because they're right there close to them. Mm -hmm. Wow. What do you have? You have dog? Dog. How many Three. times it appears? Fifteen times. In Fifteen, 15 times in fifteen verses. Now go down to Isaiah chapter fifty five. You're gonna see you should see it there too. Dog. Dog. You don't see it in Isaiah. You don't see it in Isaiah chapter 55? Okay, go, go to plural. Uh, 
Or what you could do, I'll tell you what. You do you went there already? Can yeah. What what is uh, what is uh crab from right to left? Bark. Okay, forget about dog. Let's see if bark is in the Bible. Mm. Since you, you, you be, wait, wait. See if crab is in the Bible. Crab. Go to the address box and you who will join us, you do the same thing. See if crab is in the Bible, spell C R A B from left to right. See if that's in the King James Version. Okay. <clears throat> King Dane version, C R A B. Zero times. Zero? No version. No Bible? Mm -hmm. This this is probably be a concordance online computer software with at least 20, 28 Bibles. Mm -hmm. It's not there. Let's see how many Bibles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. 21 Bibles on this computer software, Blue Letter Bible, Concordance, online. And it's not there. That's because you spelled it wrong. Now go spell it again, but use a K this time. K-R-A-B. How many times does it appear now in a Bible? Zero times. So, wait a minute. So you don't find it C-R-A-B or K-R-A-B in the Bible. What does that mean? Mm. Don't it don't exist. Mm. There's no such word. Mm. Why? Because you wrote it from left to right. Yeah. Now, if that's true, that it don't exist as K-R-A-B, then let's try B-A-R-K. That's from right to left, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go from right to left. B A R K. And let's see how many times it appears then. Once. Once? Mm -hmm. So, we, I mean, we have one shot at it. Mm. I guarantee you it's in Isaiah chapter 56. Yeah, absolutely. It is. Mm hmm. What else is there? Read it. Read from the beginning. I uh, read that verse. Verse ten. Isaiah fifty six ten. His watchmen are blind. See, they cannot see. Hmm. The watchmen are those who are watching from the watchtower, like the Jehovah's Witnesses, the Watchtower magazine. Can. Okay. Right by Charles Russell, Watchtower, Watchmen, watching you from the pulpit, the churches, like they did today, Sunday all over this country. Mm -hmm. Took the mask off now and they got to go back to church. Right? Yeah. But they're blind. Mm. That's a colon. Absolutely. After blind. Because we're about to introduce introduce you to who they really are. Mm. They're what? They are they all. They are all ignorant. Ignorant. Mm. And they are what? They are all dumb dogs. This is the Bible. Mm -hmm. They are all yeah. dumb dogs. Now click on dog. They taught you dogs as opposed to G-O-D-S. From right to left, they gave you D-O-G from left to right. Yeah. What's it? Now, that's H-3611, right? Yeah, H right? And what is it? A male prostitute, I bet. I guarantee you. What is it? Dog. Subsection A, dog. B, content. Read, the, read the last meaning. A male cult Didn't prostitute. Didn't I just say that? Yeah. A male cult prostitute. Cult mm -hmm. is a religion. You got it? That means all of the preachers and pastors and clergies in the church are all male prostitutes in a cult. The biggest cult on the planet is called Christianity. And every clergy, whether I don't care what ethnicity they are, what color, race, creed, I don't care. The Bible says, the King Name Version, authorized 1611 edition, says that all clergies are dogs and they are male prostitutes, and they're in a cult, and they are barking. They bark. Also, they're sleeping and lying down. They are loving to slumber. Mm -hmm. And that's just what they are. See, that's how they become prostitutes, loving to slumber. It's right there. I didn't make this up. They translated this okay. from Hebraic into English. Hmm. You see it? Absolutely. Right. That means that 
these dogs, these these gods. And this is for Jacob to know and Judah. Hmm. That's what this is for, for them to know. I mean, they're not going to get hooked on this hook, on, the, on this fisher's, fisherman's pole, this fisherman's rod. Hmm. Hmm. They're not going to get hooked on this fisherman's rod. If I do catch some of them, throw them back out in the water. If they happen to hook on here, and I look at it while we reel it in, I'm going to throw it right back out in the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. That's promised. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Praise the water. Praise the water. And that comes from crab. Mm -hmm. That started with crab from the spider. You didn't know such wisdom was in that one word, did you? Mm. Didn't even know that bark was in the Bible. Yeah. One time. And that bark also means they cannot warn you. Mm -hmm. See, when a dog barks, it's warning you mm -hmm. that an intruder is there, is someone that they don't like. Mm -hmm. So these pastors that you, preachers that you are following, Judah, they cannot warn you is coming, according to Matthew chapter 24. And who's coming? According to Revelation chapter 21. Mm -hmm. And verse 8. Mm -hmm. Verses 8, for, actually from verse 1 to 8. Like New Jerusalem coming mm -hmm. down. Yeah. They can't warn you. They cannot warn you to not eat chicken because they're eating chicken themselves. As soon as church is over, pork. chicken, potato salad, and collard greens. Pork. And pork. Mm. That's what they're mostly eating, pork. Pork chops and barbecue ribs after the church. They haven't talk about they having a fellowship in the back of the church. Father's Day, Mother's Day, 4th of July. A picnic out at South Beach. That's what they're doing. This all started from crab. I'm getting back to the testimony. But we want you, we thought we'd take a moment or two to share this truth with you. Why? Because I'm, they're not teaching this in school. Mm -hmm. Now go to John before we go back to the testimony and go to chapter 14 of John and let's see why they hadn't taught you this and who's supposed to teach you today. And this is not a publicity, this is not public. This is universal. This is the university, the universe of your welfare, university. And that means you come here without any intuition fee. This is free. You you have sold yourselves for naught. You shall be redeemed without money. You don't need int any intuition fee to come to this university of mm -hmm. theology. Read that, please. Verse 26, John chapter 14. What was promised? Mm -hmm. But the comforter. The comforter? Mm. Sitting down comfortably by the bank. See, on this side of the bank of the river, of the lake. Now, I was on that side of the bank of the river over in Egypt. Now, I'm on this side of the bank of the Nile River. Mm. With my rod in the lake, fishing. Comfortably. To do what? Which is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. What? Whom the Ab will send in my name. Yes. It, that means I will have my Ab's name in my name. Okay. I will come in his name. Mm. His name is not Yahweh. I do not serve an English God. Mm. Neither is my father in England. Okay. Mm. And he shall what? He shall teach you all things. How many? All things. That is just bringing it back to your attention. Mm. Make an extreme emphasis on that today teach you all things and not publicity, not public. Mm. That's why you didn't know how to write. You write them from left to right. You wrote mm. crab with a C. Mm. Mm. And I didn't realize that a crab, what a crab is. It's a bunch of crap. <laughs> take, the, take the B and make a lowercase p and you got crap yeah. with the K. Mm. Is that true? Yeah, absolutely. Crap. Crap. A bunch of crap. Hmm. That's it. And bring all things to your remembrance. All things back to your remembrance that you forgot, Judah. Mm -hmm. You forgot this. Hmm. Who else is teaching you this? No one. I can care less for of whatever anyone says of this. Hmm. Comments, those who ridicule and score, I care less. I have my fishing rod up for those who are going to take this particular bait mm. on this hook of my bones. Now as I go back to this testimony, 
I'm walking through this valley of the shadow of death right here in Florida. Hmm. By the way, Florida is known as the valley of the shadow of death in Psalm chapter 23. This is the valley that sits between two ocean bodies of water. I mean, I can also put my rod and go saltwater fishing if I want. That's put it out in the Atlantic Ocean, or I can go to the Gulf of Mexico yeah. and go fishing in the Gulf. Mm -hmm. But as I walked through this valley of the shell of death, and I was walking this vision a couple of nights ago, a few nights ago, and I saw Judah sitting down alongside the road, and some were eating the abominable meats, like we just mentioned, pork, fish, red steaks and meat. Some were eating uh, potato salad. And I mentioned collard greens, rice, peach, pigeon peas, peas and rice, beans and rice. And then someone offered me some fish. And I said, no, thank you. But then they insisted that I take this particular fish. This fish was big, big fish. And I said, well, okay, well, since you insist, I will, uh, I'll, eat, I'll take this fish. But I don't, I don't want the whole fish, I just want a little fish. See, this fish, I then realized, was a fish that was connected to Jonah. Turn to that, turn to Jonah chapter 1. Jonah chapter 1. Let's see, let's see more of this fish. Let's see what fish this was. Jonah chapter 1. Now the word, the word of the warfare came to Jonah. Jonah, who was the son of Amatia, Amitia, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness has come up before me. That's what Ob said to Jonah. Hmm. So what does Jonah mean? Jonah means dove. Sounds familiar? Dove. Hmm. The same dove, kind of, kind of dove that was on the ark that was released to see if there was some dry land mm -hmm. after the flood. The As it was in the days of Noah. See, I'm revealing that now that it was sealed. Mm -hmm. So, opposed to the dove, opposed to this time being flood, I'm releasing the dove by way of someone offering me fish. Nowhere in the Bible does it say Jonah was in the belly of a whale. Show it to me. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get that from? Show me whale in the Bible. I wonder where they got that from. From the same dumb, dog, blind preachers. Mm. Is that true? Yeah. Everything there is to know of nothing that they were teaching them. Mm. Whale is not in Jonah, the book called Jonah. There is no whale. So why would you think Jonah was in the belly of a whale? Make a note of it. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish, in verse 3, from the presence of Yudavare, and went down to Yopa. And he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof and went down into it to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of Yudavare. He preferred to go someplace else and to come before the presence of God. Can you imagine that? Mm. Then the mariners, the mariners, those who even go fishing, were afraid. Those who were right there at the marina mm. and cried, every man unto his God, to their own God, yeah. and cast forth the wares that were in the ship unto the sea to lighten it of them. But Yonah, the dove, was going down to the sides of the ship and he lay and lied as a liar mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and was fast asleep. See, he didn't go, he, just, he didn't just go to sleep. 
He went fast asleep. He went asleep fast. So the shipmaster came to him and said to him in verse 6, What meanest thou, O sleeper? Why are you sleeping, Judah? Wake up. Wake up, Judah. Why are you sleeping? Arise. Call upon thy God. If so be that God will think upon us that we perish not. And they said, every one to his fellow, in verse 7, Come, and let us cast lots, that we may know for whose cause this evil is upon us. See, they know Jonah has something to do with that. So they cast lots, and the lot fell upon Jonah. What's this lot? What was the lot? The lot was a portion of what Jonah had distributed in retribution towards them and the decision that he made of rather going to see God he wouldn't he rather go see he rather go with them and what happened his God started punching the ship mm -hmm. and those who were on the ship include Jonah mm -hmm. then said they unto him tell us we pray thee for whose cause is evil is upon us what is thine occupation what are you you're not a fisherman what you doing here with the mariners on this boat and whence comest, whence, and whence comest thou? What is thy country? Where are you from? And, and uh, what people art thou? See, art, A R T. Write that down on your paper. A R T. Art. And notice how that art is italicized. We're going to come across that again in a minute. And he said to them, "I am an Hebrew." They were Europeans. I am in Hebrew. And I fear Yodhi the God of heaven, the Elohim of heaven, which have made the sea that you are in and the dry land. Mm -hmm. Then were the men exceedingly afraid. What? You are a Hebrew and you come from and fear the God of the Hebrews that tore up Egypt and Pharaoh back in the days? Mm -hmm. That's what you are? And you have the nerve to be on here with us. For the men that he fed from the presence of Yerawafe because he had told them. Mm -hmm. That's why they were the men. Then the, word, the men were exceedingly afraid and said to him, Why had thou done this? Why you come to us? I'm still back in 10, verse 10. Mm -hmm. They knew why he had fled from the presence of Yudhi mm -hmm. Then they said in verse 11 unto him, what shall we do unto thee that the sea may be calm unto us? For the sea wrought and was tempestuous. Tempestuous. Was, was tempestuous, tempestuous. Mm -hmm. Rage, stormy. Mm -hmm. That's on the Strong's age 55, 90. You find that in your studies. Verse 14, Wherefore they cried unto Yudhawafe and said, We beseech thee, O Lord Yudhawafe, we beseech thee, let us not perish for this man's life. Why he came on the ship with us to cause us our life and lay not upon us innocent blood. For thou, O Lord Yudhawafe, had done as it pleased thee. In verse 15, so they took up Jonah and cast him forth into the sea. Cast him out to all those people, all in the world of the evil and wicked people. Hmm. And the seas, and, the, and after that, after they got him off that ship, the sea ceased from her raging. Hmm. In verse 16, then the men feared Yodhiwave exceedingly and offered a sacrifice of Yerwafe and made vows. Thank you, God, for sparing our lives as we threw that hypocrite off this ship who was a liar. Yeah. Now, the Lord Yerwafe had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah as he went out to the land. So you think this is the sea. It is a sea. This water's people. Yeah. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish I don't see whale in my Bible. Three days and three nights. 
And this is now the third day, the end of it. Mm. And now it's time for the fish to spit out Jonah. It's time for me to go fishing for this mm -hmm. fish. And I look for the dove, and I look for Jonah, and I look for the dove of Israel. And I look for the white dove of my people. I'm out looking for the dove in the belly of mm -hmm. the fish. This particular fish is also known as a dog. Wow. That you think is a dog, spelled Dalit Gimel, under H1709. Look at it. Go to it. H1711. They gave it to you as Gimel Dalit, Doug, dog. You find it? Yeah. But that's not where it comes from. You see it? Mm. All they had was one word that what? Dog. Where did it come from? Fish. No, I don't want that biology. I want 1709. It comes from 1711. We'll go to 1709 first. Yeah. You see, mm -hmm. it, it, it said, yeah, pronounced what? They have the A W G. Will you, will you pronounce Jones, H 1709? Dog. Dog. See? See? Dog. 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 Mm. Mm -hmm. Where's the O? <laughs> they can't put an O because you're the gods. Mm. You're also the fish. I'm the fisherman. I'm going fishing tonight. Fishers are men. Fishers are my people. Now I go to the etymology, 1711, and see how many I'm looking for? That's the secret. To do what? To multiply. To multiply. I'm looking for many fish from one dog. <laughs> from one, huh? From one god to many gods I'm fishing for in this ocean, this valley of the shadow of death in the lake. I had to share that with you and give you the foundation of this vision that my art gave me. Because now I'm, going, I'm getting to the core of this vision that he put in my mind to remind me of. As, as I took that piece of fish, uh, did I say what kind of fish it was? Mm -hmm. Oh, it was broiled fish. Mm -hmm. Go to it. I mean, I told them I didn't want the fish, but then they insisted that I take this fish. Go to Luke chapter 24. It was broiled fish. And this vision that I had that I put in my soul the other night in my mind is something that happened over 2022 years ago. He just reminded me of this so the day I could break it down to you because it was recorded as a parable. Mm. You have Ezekiel, uh, Luke chapter 24? Okay. Read verse because some don't believe it's me. Let's start at verse 30. And it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and break and gave to them. That's what I'm doing now. This is our daily bread. This bread is the manna, the mind that come down from heaven, the manna. This bread I brought with me from heaven. See, the fathers of Jacob and mothers of Jacob, they did eat bread in the wilderness when they came out of Egypt mm. over 3,500 years ago. But the bread that I bring, see, and they're dead. Mm. Those that ate that bread in the wilderness, yeah. they're all dead. Mm. But this bread that I bring is the bread of life. Whoever eat of this bread, they will live forever. Not mm. that bread. Mm. Read the next verse, please. 
and their eyes were open. See what happened? I'm giving you this bread that I'm bringing from heaven. Your eyes were closed mm -hmm. before I brought this bread. Now I'm giving you this bread, mm -hmm. this manna, that your eyes would be open and you could live forever. See, you were sleeping and dead, but those, and there was a veil over your mind, mm -hmm. your eyes, but that veil would be done away as you be resurrected in, my, in the reading with me, with mm -hmm. my read, my rod and my reel. This is real, with the reed and the rod, mm -hmm. fishing, read on. And they knew him. They, just by the power of the mind of how he was teaching them, mm -hmm. that only he can do. Because only he would know what the fish is that Jonah was in the belly of that swallowed him. Same soul. The mm. same soul. Mm. And what? And he vanished out of their sight. They didn't know where I went. I went up. Out of their sight. This is the etymology of Acts chapter 1 verse 11. It's a supplement. Mm. I went up out of their sight. And what? And they said one to another, What? Did not our heart burn within us? I mean, we saw him, but we saw him on a tree as dead after the crucifixion. Mm. How did he get back here again? Mm -mm -mm. I mean, I know it was him because only he can teach us what he was teaching us okay. with that bread, which was the word. And what? While he talked with us by the way, mm -hmm. and while he opened to us the scriptures, See, it was the word, the scriptures. Mm. Mm -hmm. And what happened? As I'm doing tonight. <laughs> okay. And what happened? And they rose up the same hour and mm -hmm. returned to Jerusalem. To tell and, everybody. Mm. They had to tell everybody, <laughs> with them. my goodness, mm. he is back. Okay. The one who we crucified and threw, threw rocks at, we stoned him to death. He's back. Mm. And what happened? And found the eleven gathered together, and I, them I that were with them. eleven. Mm. Why eleven? Hmm. Mm. I mean, despite the fact that Judas was gone, he didn't count anyway. He mm. never believed. Yeah. Why eleven? Because eleven was missing mm. in the belly of the fish, the dove, Jonah. Wow. Read, you'll see. Saying, The Lord is risen indeed, mm -hmm. and hath appeared to Simon. See? <laughs> it appeared to Simon. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. And they told what things were done in the way, and how he had and how he was known of them in breaking the, of bread. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. He was a uh, Simon is the uh, same as Peter, which is a rock of stone, okay. sitting on a rock, fishing on the side of the bay, the mm -hmm. lake. Go ahead, read on. And as they thus spake, Memyod Kaf Yodewabe himself stood in the midst of them, and said unto them, Shalom Elakim, mm -hmm. at Lakim Shalom. <laughs> but what happened in verse 37? But they were terrified. I mean, they were not only afraid, they were terrified. Because mm. only he knew how to say that. Mm -mm -mm. And he didn't even say Shalom Alekha. He said Shalam. Mm. He said Shalam. And before I revealed Shalam, nobody was saying Shalam. No, before I revealed it, everyone was saying Shalom. Mm. Yeah. Everyone was saying Shalom Alekha. I'm the only one after my op ascended back up into heaven 15 years ago this coming Saturday. Mm. I'm the only one who brought up Shalom. Absolutely. Even as he wrote a book called The Meaning of the True Meaning of Shalom. Mm. And they, they, they still don't know he's writing of me. The True Meaning of Shalom. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good else. And a frightened. They were frightened. And supposed that they had seen a spirit. Uh huh. And he said unto them, I mean, "Why are you troubled? Hmm. And why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold, my hands and my feet, that it is I, one, 
myself, handle me and see. For a spirit has not flesh and bones, flesh and bones, as you see me have, with bones. You can't see these bones. I'm going to share with you these bones in a minute. And I, not only that, my hands. Hmm. They think this is kind of difficult to do. Before I show you that not only were they afraid that they saw me, hmm. they even ate with my arm. And yet they don't believe in him. They don't think he's flesh and blood, flesh and bones. And, you know. Read verse 40, please. And when he had thus spoken, he shewed them his hands and his feet. Mm -hmm. And while they yet believed not they still for didn't joy. Believe it. And I'm showing them. I'm on, I'm on live stream right now showing them my hands. I'm not going to show you my foot or my feet. Hmm. None of your business. I, I'm, not, I'm not in a wheelchair. This shit look like a wheelchair to you. I can walk. I have feet. And what else? And they, and they wondered. And wondered. He said unto them. Have you here any meat? Hmm. As even if I told you don't eat no red meat. Do not eat any red meat. See that meat is the word. That meat is knowledge. That's what that is. The Greeks put M-E-A-T. That meat comes from uh, the wider sense of comprehension and intellectual knowledge. Hmm. The soul's food. That's what that is, the nourishment of the soul. That's hidden in the Greeks, by the Greeks in the G1035. Look it up and study on your own. You don't have to go to it. Go ahead and read on. And they gave him a piece of broiled fish. See, there it is. What kind of fish? Broiled. That's not boiled either. Hmm. Just broiled fish. Why broiled fish? Well broiled. All you see is broiled. B R O I L E D. Isn't that what you see in English? Yeah. You don't see the B, the R of the oil, do you? And the E D. Mm. You don't see the oil. Mm. Hmm? Yeah. All you see is the B R O I L E D. Now, if you if you look at that word that you think is broil, it's actually the oil in the bread. If you put look at the O I L, take that out of the middle. And what you left with? Bread. Right, bread. <laughs> I hear that. Oh, no one knew that because I sealed it. So now you have oil and bread. Mm. That oil is I'm putting in your mind mm. to go with the bread. That's why your cup runneth over with the oil. Mm. As I walk, as you walk with me through the valley of the shadow of death. I tell you, I'm walking through a valley mm. in Florida. Mm. And as you walk, you walk with me because I'm looking for the fish. Mm. I'm looking for the men, the oil and the bread, and of what? Honeycomb. And of honeycomb. Right. The honeycomb. You think it's honeycomb, but that's that honeycomb means sweetness. Sweetness. And that comb means it would be all put together decently and in order and be neat. What does a comb do to your hair? It fashions it, makes it neat. Right? Absolutely. Okay. Now go to Exodus chapter twenty four. That's what kind of fish. Now, we're going to get back to that, but I just want to show you that my, uh, they ate with my arm as well. They act like they, had, they don't know what that means to, to eat with me. Mm -hmm. How about eating with him? You exit, you, you exit chapter 24? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. even 70 elders were there too. Absolutely. Start at verse 9. Then went up Moshe and Eheron, Nadab and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel. See how many? Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. And what did they do? And they saw Yod Hey Wav Hey of Elo of Yisrael. You cannot see a spirit. Hmm. It's impossible. See a spirit. Now you can see spirits because they took that word in English and made all kind of things out of their spirit. Mm -hmm. Ghosts. They even got spirit in the local liquor markets. They call mm -hmm. it, call it okay. drink, a strong drink spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they cannot see. Uh, they saw this God of Israel yeah. that they cannot see a spirit, like which is mean breath or mm -hmm. air. You take, you know, blow breath out of your mouth if it's not cold for frost or if you're not smoking a joint or a cigarette. And let me see if you can see your breath. Mm, Just spirit. Yeah. But they saw the God of Israel. Yeah. And what? And there was under his feet. He has feet, the same feet he showed them that they didn't believe. Hmm. As it were what? As it were a paved work of sapphire stone. He's standing on a platform of what they call a spaceship. Hmm made a sapphire stone under his feet, walking on the spaceship, the floor of the spaceship. Mm -hmm. And what? And as it were, the body of heaven in his clearness. See, it came from heaven, and it was clear that they can see it. Mm. Verse 11 is going to shock you, that what? And upon the nobles of the children of Israel, he laid not his hands. He has hands and feet. Mm. And that's the same hand that you saw that was read in another scripture we read earlier hmm. and now you know you need to know what a hand is of your warfare and what also they saw Elohim. also they saw him and did and, what and did eat and drink. they had a fellowship they had a party <laughs> that mean god was eating and drinking with them too hmm. that mean he could eat and drink yeah. What makes you so foolish to not believe that since God gave you the ability to consume food through your mouth mm. and go to your belly and then drink water with your mouth to go down your throat and belly, you can drink. What makes you think he can't do it? He's God. He made you. How stupid and silly can it be? Mm -hmm. Anyway, we know that fish was broiled yeah. of oil and bread. Right? Yeah. But this fish in his vision was a valley of fish. It turned to be a valley because as I was eating this fish, mm -hmm. after I was done eating that fish, I walked away from the crowd that fed me and offered me that fish of my people. And as I was walking down the streets right here in Miami, mm -hmm. of Florida, I was eating the fish and I was, as I was eating the flesh of the fish, I took a bone out. Mm. Are you hearing me? Yeah. This is phenomenal. Mm. I've never revealed this. It's the first time I revealed this vision. Mm. And I promised you that I would on Monday. Yeah. Here we are on Monday. Mm. I took out a bone and it was a white bone of the fish out of my mouth and I put it in my hand. And as I was walking, I felt something in my mouth. And I put that bone in this hand and I, I reached and took another bone out. And I put it in the hand with the second bone. And I kept walking. And I felt another bone appear. And I put it with the other bone. I continued to walk in, walking, and every time it like the bone was coming. Mm. And I kept taking bones out of my mouth that was just appearing in my mouth. Mm. And bone mm. after bone as I was walking, I said, like, where are these bones coming from? The fish was already in my, the flesh had already been digested. Mm. Mm. But I keep taking bones. And after a while, I had a whole pile of white bones, fish bones in my hand, my, my mm. left hand. I kept taking bones out. I kept, I said to somebody, hey, do you see what happened to me? You see what's happened to me? And they were looking and said, what's going on with you? I said, I'm, I'm taking these bones out. I don't know where they're coming from. But I keep, oh my goodness. And I started calling them, ah, oh, what's happening? 
Mm-hmm. Why, where are these bones coming from? Out of me. They were coming mm-hmm. from my rear. Mm. They were coming from my rear. In this valley. Mm. So I needed to find out more of these bones. And then I woke up. Mm. And then my aunt told me to go to Ezekiel chapter 37. So go to that with me. Mm-hmm. This has never been done before. This is the revelation of that. My aunt went over, but he didn't go over it. Mm. He just went over it, but I'm going through it. I'm on the fishing bank. Mm. See, that's the same hand. Mm. I'm talking at verse 1. That's the same hand of Exodus chapter 24, verse 11. Mm. The same hand that you saw in Luke. Mm -hmm. I showed my hands and my feet. Luke chapter 24. Mm. Ezekiel chapter 37. Mm -hmm. See, the hand of Yodawafi was upon me. Mm. He feed me these bones. And -hmm. carried me out in the spirit of Yodawafi. And set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. (laughs) Come out of my mouth. Now hold that thought for a minute. And, uh, verse 2. And caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And lo, they were very dry bones. Come out of my mouth. Mm-hmm. And he said unto me, My all, son of man, can these bones live? Come out of my mouth. There was bone in my bone, flesh in mm-hmm. my flesh. From Genesis chapter 2 now. Okay. And I answered. Oh, you're the warfare, my uh, thou knowest. Again, he said to me, prophesy unto these bones on Monday, on the 23rd day of the second month, 6,025, and said to them, O oh, ye dry bones, as I fish for you, hmm. hear the word of your warfare. Thus said your warfare, the God of the Hebrews, unto these bones. I'm saying to these bones that come out of my mouth. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live, mm. as I hook you from the lake, as I fish for you. And I will lay sinews upon you, and I will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath into you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am your Yodawafe, and I prophesy your arm is God, Yodawafe. So I prophesied as I was commanded I'm doing today, tonight on live stream, Facebook, and on our conference line. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. And behold, a shaking. And the bones came together, bone to his bone, back mm. from the garden. Mm-hmm. Bone. Back to my bone. It's coming from my rib. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Still dead, no breath. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, cough. Thus said the Lord God, you want her. Come from the four winds, come from the four winds, O breath. And breathe upon these slain that they may live, as they were slain for 467 years in this land called America as slaves. Mm. Brutally murdered by the slave masters. Shot without a cause by gunfire, by the police with badges and guns. Choked to death on the sidewalk because they were selling cigarettes. Mm. Running because he was afraid for your life because you had a tail light blown out in mm-hmm. South North Carolina, South Carolina. Shot because you were playing with a BB gun in the park. Murdered, slain. Mm. Shot because you reached for your driver license after you said, give me your driver license and you were stopped by a traffic officer. So I prophesied as he commanded me, my arm, and the breath came into them and they lived and stood up on their feet. Mm-hmm. Stood up, an exceeding great army. Mm-hmm. And I go to the fish bones. Go to that. What's the title of it? I'm going to join you. Mm-hmm. 
it went off, got cut off, go find it. It should be something like the bones of the fish, the fish bones. Go back to your history. Give me the title so I can guide you to it. Mm. So she said something like the fish skeleton bone system. And it should be under, if you go to your history, I think, it, yeah, you find your history. And you find it yet? Okay, because that there is one I'm looking at, but I want us to be on the same page. The fish skeleton bone system, and if I get, if I get the site, it should be under. You have one. It's because he has numbered the one I want. Is is numbered so I can you can compare the numbers to what I'm about to share with you. Because thirteen and seven are very important. Mm. It's purple. It's purple. Right. Fish is yellow. Bones or something. Yeah. What's the name of that? You have it. And it's a fish colon skeletal system. Fish colon. Skeleton system. Yeah. Okay, that's what I want. Sound familiar? Yeah, that sounds familiar. And we're gonna find it under what you have. I need just uh, Google. See, t no, that's not the. I typed in the fish skeleton bone system, and then when I scroll down, it the fish skeleton bone system. Mm -hmm. It's a white, it has a white uh, image though. No, it's not numbered. No. See, I want it's, it's, it's got yellow background. It may even say a uh, diagram. If not, we'll, we'll use that one. Because we can use that one. It's just not numbered. I had one that was numbered. This is the first one I had was numbered. Okay, go back to the first one you had. Numbered, right? The bones mm -hmm. were numbered. Mm -hmm. See these bones, how many bones? No one never studied fish in the bones. Mm. They hadn't done it. They had no need to. Mm. They were sleeping. Mm -hmm. Okay, and after we put you at 20. Mm -hmm. What happened? What is it? I had uh, 20 named bones. 20 named bones. That's what you have? Mm -hmm. So I go to 20 name bones of fish. I know that, that particular picture had um. Oh, 20, 20 name bones. Mm -hmm. What website is it? This is a Google image. When I typed in, uh, typed in the fish skeleton bone system. Mm -hmm. And when you scroll down, it, it'll show you that first image. Okay, the fish skeletal bone system. Right. And what you have? Name name what you have. I don't want to turn around. Look. Do you see the since you should say ra racial mm -hmm. racial cartilage. Right. Write that down. Racial cartilage. Nineteen. That's number nineteen, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And what's the website? That's the one I want. I see. That's the one. 
Mm. Give me the the link. I want to go there. Give me the, give me the um, hashtag. Oh, would you type in the address box again? I typed in the fish. Well, hold on. Let me go to Google. Mm -hmm. And type in the fish. Okay. Skeleton. Skeleton or skeletal? Not skeletal. Skeleton. Skeleton. See, mm -hmm. I put skeletal. And that's what the difference is. Bone system. That sounds familiar. That's the one. That's what I'm looking for. As under and under what link it says. Well, when you scroll down towards the middle of the page, it'll, it'll show that first image. The fr I see the first image. It's the images of the f for the fish. Again. Right, and this is the one. Ah, that's the one. That's it. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, now take a look at. That's what I'm looking for. Number nineteen says. The RADI, right? Mm -hmm. Radio cartilage. Okay, now, write that down. And also, number seven should say the same thing. These were the type of bones that I was, that was coming out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Of the fish. Yeah. It's the same fish that Jonah was in the belly of this fish. Mm -hmm. And my bones were in there with him. See, my bones were in that fish. Mm -hmm. Jonah is part of my bones. Hmm. So number seven and number nineteen is the same, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, take a look at and, and spell it. You have R A D I A L. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Now here's what you're gonna do. You have cartilage. Hmm. This cartilage, in cartilage, you have the C. Right? You gonna write this down? Writing exercise. There is no more C. Hmm. So do away with that C. You're left with what? A R T. Hmm. Write down A R T, and stop there. There's your art. I told you to write down earlier. Mm -hmm. After art, separate that. You have I in the middle. See, you don't art I. Hmm. You art that I. You have it. Yeah. And you're also the L. Is next, right? Yeah. L is short for Elohim. The mm -hmm. pronunciation, the homophone, right? Mm -hmm. And now you are of age because you're also known as Ancient of Days. Mm. A-G-E, the age of the bone. That's the cartilage. Mm. You got that? Yeah. Now the first word is R-A-D-I-A-L, is that correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So separate, I'll write that down, R-A-D-I-A-L from left to right, and separate the A and the D. Yeah. And now what do you have? You have dial. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Let's speak up. Yeah. This revelation. This is my vision. Yeah. I'm sharing it with you. With yeah. you have D I A L, right? Absolutely. Okay. Now, now that you have D I A L, this revelation that my heart reminded me of that sealed in this Bible. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Now, what's the dial? Is dial in the Bible? That's without the R or A. Hmm. Go to your address box. Don't lose that page. Hmm. Go to that D I A L. As we walk through this valley of the shadow of death. You have it? D I A L. Okay, that should take you to two scriptures. Okay. One in Second Kings chapter twenty verse eleven, and then Isaiah chapter thirty eight verse eight. Okay. It's the same reference. It's the same prophecy mm -hmm. that says mm -hmm. what in Isaiah thirty eight eight. What? Behold, I will bring again the shadow of degrees. That the that shadow of degrees is Florida as I walk through the valley, the shadow of death, mm. which is what? Which is gone down in the sundial. The sundial is where the sun will be in the east. In the valley of shadow of death, in the last days of age, hmm. okay. wow. of who? Of Ahaz. Now you're dealing with the meaning of a name. Ahaz means he has grasps, a hold to this rod and the reel, grasp hold of those that have come to fish. Hmm. 
the etymology of a has is to take hold to and seize them, take possession of. That's Strong's H270. Make a note. Mm. And what else? 10 degrees backward. 10 degrees backward with hay. The va number value of, of 10, of hay is 10. Of yo, mm. truly, yo, is 10. Mm. Mm. Oh, we coming to hay. I just jumped ahead a little bit. We coming to hay. Mm. 10 degrees, right? Yeah. That means what? There are 10 tribes over in Israel right now that are without Judah and Lavi. 10 tribes, 10 degrees. Mm. Now Judah, Judah and Lavi must join them as I fish for them in this valley of the shadow of death. Mm -hmm. What else? So the sun returned 10 See, degrees. The sun got to return to the 10 tribes with Judah and Lavi to be delivered. And I take possession of them by which degrees it was going down. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and as you go with me, as I get these fish, right? Mm. I will no longer be in the west as the sun goes down 10 degrees. We got to go back to the east. Let I me mean, hear you writing again from left to right. You have D I A L. But you must come through the valley of the shadow of death with me as I lay you down. Hmm. Hmm? Yeah. So now you gotta go backwards and write right from right to left and write L A I D. See if that's in the Bible. L A I D backwards. <laughs> you did the same thing in Egypt. You see it? Loading. <clears throat> Loading. Again, 279 times. 279 times. Wow. Now I lay you down and bring you back up to await. Mm -hmm. They taught you a prayer when you were little. You are your Mama and your daddy, mm -hmm. now, now mm -hmm. lay me down to sleep. Hmm? If I die before I wake. <laughs> I pray the Lord my soul to keep, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. He laid me down. I'm not, go, go to Psalms chapter 3, he'll tell you where it come from. Mm -hmm. So now I'm bringing that reverse. Now by the power of Psalms chapter 3 and verse 5, read that. That's your laid that you thought was a part of raid. <laughs> or, or actually dial. And dial. Read verse 3. Start with verse 3. Oh, Just read verse, I'm sorry, read verse 5. Psalm chapter 3, read verse 5. I laid me down there and it is. slept. <laughs> I awake. Now you must awake. It's for time for you to wait. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. And what? For Yode Wabe sustained me. That means you must become like me. This lathe is found in the saw of the H7737. That means you must now become like me. Mm. To be alike with my bone. Bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. That means you should not cleave no longer to mother or father, but you should come down with me. They cleave to me. Your husband. Remember, I told you, wives. Yeah, husband. You have it? H7737. Seven, seven, seven. Seven, 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 seven. You have it? Yeah, it's coming right now. Yeah. Uh, to agree with. Be or become like. Right. You must be or become like me. You can't be me, but you can be like me. Okay. Just like I cannot be my arm. I cannot be uh mm. But I'm like him. That's what my name, terrestrial name means. Who is okay. like you to walk mm. Now those who come, as I become this fisherman of my men and women, but man, remember man? No more woman? Okay. As I get this fisherman of man, right? You come. 
but those who do not come are going to be victimized of Psalm chapter 49 verse 14. Turn to that. Oh, this is under laid. Read Psalm chapter 49 and verse 14. Like sheep, they are led in the grave. See? <laughs> Death shall feed on them. Mm -hmm. And the upright shall That's have... A, that is mm -hmm. prophetical. That is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And the upright shall have dominion That's over them. prophecy. is prophetical. Shall. In the morning. And their beauty shall consume in the grave from their dwelling. That is a promise. That's prophetical. That is going to happen. And that came from the D-I-A-L. Right? Okay. So what was left... After you wrote the D I A L, what's Ray. the prefix? Ray. Ra. Ra. Go to the address box and put Ra. This is in the Bible. You put it that way. This is from the bone. Is this from the bone? Okay. Oh, okay. The white bone. What you what you have? <clears throat> Is it there? Should be mm -hmm. one time. They took it out of King David version. And but it was time. there one time. RSV Bible. An RSV Bible. Go to it and see where it comes from. See this? What they took it out as soon as Judah came over as slave in the 16th century to be fallen again under taskmasters as, as they did taskmasters and they did in Egypt, mm. and they took that out. Mm. And they gave you only left you with RA. Or Ramses. Mm -hmm. okay, Pharaoh. 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 Now go back to your address box and type in the RA. See, they, they, can, they juxtapose it together. Mm. Now type in the RA. You got it? Yeah. A again. Mm -hmm. M S E S. And see if you don't find that one time and where really where it belongs in the King James Version Bible. Under one, one, one. Exodus. Mm. It's now it's time to Exodus. Is that where it is? Yeah, and Read it. Uh, Exodus one, eleven. Therefore they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with burdens, with their burdens. Mm hmm And they build for Pharaoh treasure cities, Pithom and Ram. Ramesses. And that's what they, that's what's going on right now. Judah's right back there. Not all twelve tribes, only Judah. Mm -hmm. Lavi did it also in Haiti. Levi. This happened all over again. So what is Ramses under H seventy four eighty six? What is it? I'm looking for my people. That's the child of the son. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. The child of the son. Is that what it says? Okay. Child right. of the son. A city in Lower Egypt built by Hebrew slaves, probably in Geshem. There it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, for Ra. Mm -hmm. That's from your Ra dial. Mm -hmm. Ra lay. Mm -hmm. We get ready to close a moment, but first, I have to show you the other part of the fish. All of this comes from a fish, to the bone. The bones that was in my mouth. Can these bones live? Mm. So where else is the bone? 13. You see the number? Okay. What's 13? 13 is... The lower jaw. And the lower jaw. What jaw is that? I hear this lower jaw in my book, Mika chapter 5. Read it. Go back to it. Go to it. Mika chapter 5. Let me read verse 1. That's the jaw of the cheek of the judge. Mm. I am the judge. They smoke mm. me. They're doing it right now. We can shut the fire. That means the troops are the fish. Mm. And I say now, gather thyself in troops, or daughter of troops. 
He had laid siege against us. They shall smite and they have smite the judge of Israel with a rod, a fishing rod, hmm. upon the cheek. So now you got to go to your concordance. Right? What have they done? Read that, read that again. You missed it. Read no read verse one of Micah chapter five again again. Now gather thyself in troops, O daughter of troops. He hath laid Excuse seed. me, he hath what? Laid L A I D right there in my prophecy. I told you it all come together, I'll remind of it. I'm mm. taking bones out of my mouth. See laid? Yeah. Lay siege against us. What what? They shall smite the judge of Israel with a rod upon the cheek. So what's the cheek? This cheek is hidden in number 13 of that jaw of the fish. Go to H 3895 of the cheek and what's the first word you come across? And by the way, Mika M begins with what, ma'am? Mm -hmm. 13. All hidden in that fish. And I took these bones. I kept taking bones out of my mouth. Mm. It disappeared in my mouth. Is all there prophetically to be loosed today by the very soul who sealed it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you have? Age thirty-eight ninety-five. Mm-hmm. Jaw. Jaw. Cheek. Cheek. Right there. Mm -hmm. There is no etymology. That's what it is. Which verse, what number B is? Cheek. Of who? Of man. Of man. The son of who? The son of man. Son of man. Wow. Mm -hmm. I believe I left off. As I, as I conclude now, Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 11. Bones are the whole house of Israel. Hmm. All these bones, everyone, kept taking them out of my mouth, in my mouth. The whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dry and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Therefore, prophesy and say unto them, Thus said the Lord God, you know, I've heard, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am. Lord, you know, Wave, when I have opened your graves, O oh, my people, and brought you up out of your graves, and shall put my spirit in you, and you shall live, and I shall place you in your own land, then shall you know that I, the Lord, you know, have spoken it and performed it to the Lord, you know, Wave. Are you following me? Yeah. Verse 15, the reunion. The word of the Lord, you know, it came unto me. Again came unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it. I'm doing that, the rod. For Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. Then take another stick and write upon it for your safe the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions, and join them one to another and to one stick. And that's what you must do now. Stop mm -hmm. all these different camps. Mm -hmm. Stop it. And they shall become one in thine hand. One. This is prophetical. It's going to happen. Whether those who are stubborn and rebellious don't want to come, others will. Mm -hmm. Before it's too late. And when the children of, of thy people shall speak unto thee, say, Wilt thou not show us what thou meanest by these? I'm showing you. I did. I'm showing you tonight. Here's what I'm telling you. Behold, I will take the stick of your safe, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and I will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, Yehuda, and make them one stick, and there shall be one in mine hand. And the sticks 
whereon thou writest shall be in thine hand before their eyes on Facebook and say unto them thus said the Lord God you know, her, behold I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen whether they be gone and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land mm. this is prophetical and my people many of them are still waiting on Mount Ab to come back and that body to do this and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel and one king shall be king to them all and they shall be no more two nations neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all neither shall they defile themselves anymore with their idols nor with their detestable things nor with any of their transgressions but I will save them out of all their dwelling places wherein they have sinned and I will cleanse them so shall they be my people and I will be their God verse 24 and thou my servant shall be king over them and they and they all shall have one shepherd one shepherd they shall also walk in my judgments and observe my statutes and do them and they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob Yaakov my servant wherein your fathers have dwelt and they shall dwell therein even they and their children and their children's children forever and my servant thou should be their prince forever moreover I will make a covenant of peace shalom with them there shall be an everlasting covenant with them and I will place them and multiply them and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore my tabernacle also should be with them and here I am yeah, yeah. I will be their God and they shall be my people and the heathen shall know that I the Lord you know I do sanctify Israel where my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them for evermore and we want to thank you mm -hmm. told out to all those who joined us tonight on this fishing endeavor as I fished with my rod and I caught me mm -hmm. some fish mm -hmm. and now I'm going to take them back to my home and clean them Hmm. and eat them eat them up with nothing but a hog pray to Wabe pray to Wabe Toda for joining us remember your Wabe loves you Yehuda your Wabe loves you so do I Shalom Alekum Shalom Alekum